What's going on, y'all? This your boy, Hype Fan Eagle. You already know, it, man. And right now, listen, this is one of my first videos. You know, shout out to Lord Bronson. You, you know, um, basically he encouraged me to uh to start a YouTube uh fan page. And this is my YouTube fan page. You know, I'm giving my opinions. I'm giving y'all updates on what's going on with the Philadelphia Eagles and everything like that. This is definitely strictly my opinions. Please like and subscribe to my video. Please comment whenever you feel free and everything like that. If you got an opinion, leave it in the comments. Also, you can follow my podcast at How Let Your Boy Podcast, wherever you get your podcast from. But that being said, I want to talk about just a few things. You know, I want to talk about the uh, the the 2022 upcoming draft. I want to talk about what we should focus on and everything like that. And um, that that's basically it for today's video. So I feel like um, we should we we in, in the upcoming draft, right? Because we got three first round picks, right? In my opinion, I feel like we should focus on the defense, right? Not saying that we don't need offense, but I'm about to break it all down to you, right? So let me just get into it real quick before anything. I feel like we should focus on, and this is not in order, but one of our first round picks, we should focus on getting a wide receiver, a wide receiver that got the body stature of an Anquan Bolden or DJ Metcalf. If they don't, we need that type of wide, we need an aggressive wide receiver, Somebody that could go up there and get the ball. Now, we've seen how Jalen Hurts throw, throw in the pass. He is not all that accurate. I love Jalen Hurts. And my next video, I'm going to get into why I like him and what he should work on during this offseason. I'm going to pinpoint out everything. But we've seen how Jalen Hurts throw the ball. We need a wide receiver that can go up and get the ball. We need an aggressive wide receiver that's not afraid to challenge a cornerback. We need that type of wide receiver. We already got two, two small, swifty wide receivers, right? We got Quez Watkins, who I think in, is an emerging, up, up and coming wide receiver. And we have Devontae Smith, you know, small. I mean, they, they, they tall, but they skinny. So they may get bullied a lot. You know what I'm saying? They, they, you know, they may get bullied. I feel like Devontae Smith. He could work a little bit more on getting separation. You know, that's what he that's what he should be working on this offseason and also hit the weight room. You know what I, you know what I'm saying? Quez Watkins, same thing. You know, get just work on getting a little bit of more separation and hit that and hit that weight room hard. You know what I'm saying? Hit that weight room hard. And and and, and that's what that's that should be the focus for them too. Now, if we get that type of wide receiver that's aggressive, that could go up and get uh and get the ball, that got the body stature of an Anquan Bolden or DJ Metcalf, that'd be perfect for the offense. Our run game is good. I don't know what they're going to do with Jordan Howard. Hopefully they resign him. I don't know what they're going to do with Boston Scott. Hopefully he's resigned. I feel like uh, if none of those are resigned, we can get a, a running back in the second round. You know, we already got Kenneth Gainwell. I feel like we didn't use him how we needed to use him in the season. I know he was hurt a lot, but he, I feel like, the way how Leonard Fournette is, and I'm not saying he's Leonard Fournette, but the way how Tom Brady uses Leonard Fournette as far as the passing game, we need to use Kenneth Gainwell just like that on third down situations and everything like that. But let me get back on topic. So we need to focus on a wide receiver, on any one of those picks. On any one of those second picks or whatever like that, mind you, we got three picks. On any one of those other picks, we need to focus on a linebacker. Someone that could be side by side with TJ Edwards if he is resigned. I have to look at everything. We need to focus on a linebacker because we couldn't stop a nosebleed, nor could we cover, nor could we tackle. There have been a lot of mixed tackles by Alex Singletary. I never liked the guy. You know, I understand that he he practiced hard, he worked hard, he go hard, but I never liked the guy. So I feel like we need a linebacker. We need a a a, a piece right next to. TJ Edwards, you know, we need that. Last but not least, and I don't know which one we should get. I'm going to do my research more. We need either a cornerback or a safety. Now, Rodney McLeod is getting up there in age with injuries and everything like that. He's still a good, uh, he's still a good safety, but his legs is, is, is beneath him. Now, if we do uh, keep him for another year, I'm not mad at that. 
but I feel like we, we, we need to go in either direction. Steven Nelson was signed to a one-year deal. He is not the answer on the other side of Darius Slay. Not the answer in my book. You feel what I'm saying? He definitely not the answer in my book. You feel me? I feel like Darius Slay is seasoned. So you need somebody on the other side. We, we need we need a, a, a real good cornerback like a Patrick Satan uh, or J.C. Horn or something like that. We need to go for somebody like that. Some, somebody with a type, similar type of uh, play style. You know what I mean? So, Steven, I, 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 I hope we don't resign Steven Nelson. But if we don't get a cornerback, <laughs> resign Steven Nelson. <laughs> like, that's just, that's just it to me. So, them the three things that we need to focus on in the draft is a wide receiver, a linebacker, a safety, or a corner. You know, no particular order, but that's what we need to focus on, man. Uh, this is my first video. Shout out to Lord Bronson because he encouraged me to start uh, doing videos and making an uh, Eagles fan page. So, you know, thank y'all for tuning in, man. My next video will be about Jalen Hurts, where he should focus on during this offseason. You know, uh, uh, and yeah, that's it, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man.